Tremendous Mazda savings than right now at Team Mazda. Get 0% financing on any new Mazda CX-5, Mazda CX-30, Mazda CX-50, or the Mazda CX-90. Find out just how much you can save at Team Mazda on Airline. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us for 9 News Now. I'm T. Chappelle. One man is dead. Another is trying to recover after a fire in Killian. Firefighters responded to Lower Rome Road around noon. They found the injured man, but unfortunately, the second victim could not be saved. Investigators are looking into what caused this fire. We will update you as soon as we learn more details. We need your eyes on the screen for a minute right here. The East Baton Rouge Sheriff's Office is looking for this man. They say he's connected to an armed robbery at a convenience store along Hooper Road. The robbery happened around 1030 p.m. on Thursday. If you know anything that can help investigators call Crime Stoppers and submit an anonymous tip to 344-STOP. Just ahead, we have a check of your evening forecast. Don't go anywhere. Let's take a look at our Sky 9 camera. Another warm one for fall. The fall season is here, but the weather is still pretty hot for fall. But we are paying attention to a lot of different things. Let's get to Jeff Morrow for a look at the forecast. Jeff. Yeah, locally we're waiting on a cold front to head our way. That'll be taking place for tomorrow. Going to help provide some relief from this late summer heat that's uh, kind of pushing into early fall. Not much in the way of rain right now on First Alert Radar Network. We've got a couple of spotty showers down towards our coastal parishes, but that's about it. Otherwise, it's really all about the heat. We've got 80s and 90s on the board right now, so not quite as hot as it has been the last couple of days. A little bit more cloud cover today than previous days. 92 right now in Baton Rouge, as well as Gonzales, 90 in the Crescent City, 90 also in Holman, Galliano. You can see 89 for Hammond, 89 in Lafayette, but feels like 97 here in the capital city, as hot as 102 in Homa. So we do have those feels like temperatures making it feel rather uncomfortable outside right now. So if you do have outdoor plans for the next few hours. Just dress accordingly. Stay hydrated over the next six hours. We are expected to stay in the low 90s for the next couple of hours. And then as we go into those evening hours, we'll start to drift back down into the 80s. I'll keep a mention of a shower in the forecast, but don't really plan on having to contend with wet weather, at least for today. For tomorrow, though, have that umbrella ready to go as we will have a few scattered showers in the forecast. Let's update you on Helene, now a tropical storm in the northwestern Caribbean, about to be moving into the Gulf of Mexico, probably taking place as we go overnight tonight. You'll notice maximum stay winds of 45 miles per hour, moving west-northwest at 12 miles per hour. The good news with Helene, for us at least, remains that this system is expected to stay to our east. That puts us on the western side, the drier, less impact side of a tropical cyclone. The bad news is for Florida and pretty much Georgia as they're going to be contending with a major hurricane. You can see that is expected at landfall sometime Thursday evening with maximum sustained winds of 115 miles per hour. So lots of rain, lots of wind and lots of surge for portions of Florida as well as for Georgia. Tisha. All right, Jeff, thank you. Well, if your business was impacted by Hurricane Francine, speaking of hurricanes, the Small Business Administration is offering help. The agency is opening up a free business recovery center in Gonzales. You can get access to a wide range of services to help you get your back on your feet. Organizers say appointments are not necessary. The recovery center will be at the Ascension Credit Union on South Burnside Avenue. It will be open on Mondays and Tuesdays from 8 a.m., 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. The Gross Tate Bridge is officially back open. This comes after a three-month close after the bridge was hit by a barge. The bridge is open seven days a week from 5 to 10 in the morning. It will close from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. to allow for barge traffic. The la last parts needed to be fixed, needed to fix the bridge will arrive in November. DOTD says when that happens, they will remove a temporary no-wake zone in the water near the bridge. 
Looking ahead, the Louisiana Legislative Black Caucus is hosting a town hall meeting today to talk about this past legislative session. A panel of local elected officials will discuss bills recently passed and answer questions. It's happening at the Southern University Law Center from 530 to 730 tonight. Thank you for joining us for 9 News Now. I'm Tisha Powell. Be sure to join us again in 25 minutes for 9 News at 4. It's time to gear up for game day at Team Toyota. Right now, get a new 24 Tacoma for just $269 a month or get 2.99% financing for 72 months on a new Toyota Tundra. Score thousands and save.